Today I wanted to talk about, about this right here. I want to talk about capacitors. Capacitors. We see them on single phase motors. We don't need them on three phase motors, but we see them on single phase motors all the time. And, you know, sometimes they go bad and it's just, you know, they create problems. Well, problems for the homeowner, but for us, we go in, replace the capacitor, and we charge them for that. So it's good for us. It's quick, easy get in and get out. But uh, we need to make sure that we know what we're doing when we're dealing with capacitors. One of the things that I wanted to say is that on capacitors, before you start messing with a capacitor, make sure power has been turned off. And once power has been turned off, then you want to discharge the capacitor. Now, typically, we want to use about a 20K ohm resistor, maybe 5 watt, and you put it across the two leads. Most of us, what is it that we do? We reach in our back pocket, pull out the screwdriver, and short out the, con the connections on it. Well, what that does is sends it sends shock waves through there, and it could damage the capacitor. But the thing is, how many of us actually carry the 20 watt, I mean the 20K 5 watt resistor with us? But we should be careful how we do this. Anyway, we turn power off, discharge the capacitor, then we disconnect the leads. And typically what we're going to have, yeah, we're going to have the capacitor that looks like this. And it's going to have one connection and then another connection. Purpose of the capacitor is to store and release energy, just like a battery. Same thing as a battery. One of these days, you know, I think that we're going to get away from batteries and go more into capacitors. But that's later on. Um, so the capacitors is going to store energy, release energy. Let's say, for example, that this happens to be a 7.5 microfarad capacitor. Well, the 7.5 tells you how much energy it's going to store. And it's, it's rated into microfarads. So to know if this is good or not, what you need is you're going to need a meter. And this meter is going to have to tell you what the microfarads are. When I started doing this, I started doing this kind of work back in 1979. I was told, you, all you do is take your ohmmeter, put it across the two leads, then you reverse the two. If the needle goes up and comes back down, then the capacitor is good. And that's how we test them back then. What that does, what we're doing is we're actually charging the capacitor because that ohmmeter has a 9 volt battery in it. So we're taking the 9 volts and we're charging this and when we switch the leads we're discharging the capacitor. So we discharge and then we charge the capacitor back up. That's why our needle on the ohmmeter goes up and it comes back down every single time we reverse the leads. But if you have a capacitor tester, the capacitor tester will actually tell you what the microfarads on that capacitor are. Now, in most electrical equipment, we're allowed how much leeway? Plus or minus 10%. Plus or minus 10%. So if this capacitor is within 10%, then we should be okay. Now, I said that this is just like a battery. It stores energy and it releases energy. So I was also told that you can always increase the microfarads. But if we think about it, if this is designed to send into the compressor or into the fan motor, into let's say just plain old motor, 7.5 microfarads, and we put, let's say, I don't know, a 10 or even a 15 microfarad capacitor, we're sending a whole lot more in there than it's designed to handle. If we put a 15 in there, that's twice as much. So if you have twice as much energy going into a set of windings, then what's going to happen to those windings? Well, the windings are going to overheat. You're going to be sending too much power to them. Now we have, in a single phase motor, we have the two windings like this. One is going to be the run winding. The other one is going to be start winding. You're going to have three connections. This one here is going to be your common. So. What I always tell the guys in class is the same line that feeds the run winding always has to feed the capacitor. And this is the symbol for a capacitor. This would be your 
run capacitor, let's say. So the same line that feeds the run winding feeds the capacitor, and the capacitor always feeds the start winding, always. So this capacitor, what we're going to do is we're going to take it off of here, and we're going to hook up the meter to it to see what the microfarads are. If they are within 10%, then we're okay. We know the capacitor is good. If they're not, then, it, then we know the capacitor is bad. If there's oil that is on this capacitor, if there's oil on it, the capacitor is just bad. Don't even worry about it. If this capacitor has gotten swollen, because I've seen capacitors just swelled up, the capacitor is bad. Don't even bother testing it. You just put a, put a, a capacitor back in there. But what type of capacitor are you going to put in there? You're going to put in there the same thing that you took out. You're going to put exactly the same thing that you took out. You're going to see, let's say, for example, this one here might be a 370 V AC capacitor. So this is 370 volts alternating current capacitor. That's what is designed to operate it. So that's why you're going to replace it with the exact same thing. If you don't have it, you can use something close to it temporarily, temporarily, but you should put in there what came out of the capacitor. Now, uh, there's a lot to say about capacitors. I wanted to, in another video, I'm going to make another video on capacitors that have the three connections on them. And I will talk about those in the next video. But remember this about capacitors, you must have a meter that will actually tell you what the microfarads are so that you know if that capacitor is good or bad. Again, this is Julio, Aircon Academy. If you have any suggestions for videos, let me know. Go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on Facebook, and check out my webpage, airconacademy.com. Thank you.